Okay. Howdy. Welcome. Welcome to another edition of That's the Railroad where we bring the railroad to you. <laughs> and we love doing it. So, uh, got a little project going here today. Changing the uh, couple of uh, bed, uh, the dynamic brake resistor grids. Okay, I'll show them to you here just, just, a, just a few minutes, okay? All right. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay, put a new uh, dynamic brake resistor grid in there. I'll show you why here in a minute. I got uh, set it in with my boom truck. And we're gonna put the cover back on, and then we've got another one on the other side to do. Dynamic brakes wouldn't work. They'd set up, they wouldn't work. <laughs> this is what dissipates the heat when the dynamic brakes are on. There's a new one. Hey Kevin, you got you got the old one still? Yeah, why? Well, I'm gonna need it still. Why? Well, I have one. I have two more. Oops, I still had one. You want another new one like that? That's fine. Hmm. Tell him he should never argue with you. You know what the heck you're talking about. Uh, you know, I'll never say I know what I'm talking about. Then I'll expect more of you. <laughs> well, we're counting on you, pal. I am. <laughs> Where the leads look, I hook up. They're uh, putting the leads on up there now. Pretty interesting stuff. They're not, I don't know what they weigh, but I wouldn't. Uh, two guys could pick it up pretty easy. Don't know what the cost either. Okay, that's the cover on the outside. They're uh, bolting the cover on the other side right now. And we'll come over here and pull this off. Sorry, but I will not be taping while I'm running the boom here. So, let me show you that. Got my. All righty. <laughs> Good thing it's not pouring down rain. I had a uh, cracked joint bar up there on the other side of the uh, mile post 4.3 this morning, and it was pouring down rain while we fixed that. I'm glad uh, that for these guys up there. They're on the other side right now. Glad uh, and. Uh, they don't want me taping them also so I'm not going to be able to show that any of that but you have to be happy with what you do get here all right all right this is number one locomotive it is an SD 38-2 built 
in December of 1975. And most of you guys watch me videos for a long time know this that was this locomotive was built exclusively for this mine and it's the only place it's ever been and all it's ever done is haul coal. Alrighty. Black Diamond's moving. And we got this one all stuck, ready to go out and take a test drive. One we took out on this side was uh, that ain't too bad. Wait till you see the other side. <laughs> Become generators, and as that's gener as a, acting as a generator, yes, put the, got my hand all dirty. But acting as a generator that creates a resistance, a, a, a drag. It also creates a lot of heat. So uh, that's why these are in here to dissipate that heat. And then right above the uh, three banks, there is a uh, two. Uh, fans up there to help help cool these uh, grids off and get rid of that heat all right very good that's cold in there okay hope you uh 
Hope you enjoyed today's show. And I want to thank you very much for watching. <laughs> May you have a really good day. <laughs> and happy rails to you, my friend. Until.